This video is going to show you how to use the Quick Plan program. The Quick Plan program, represented at the top here, is a very, very basic drafting package for those people that haven't invested in any sort of CAD system. So it allows the user to perhaps, for example, design some pipe runs on a floor plan, um, but not necessarily have to have AutoCAD or Revit or any of the other CAD systems. To operate the program, select the icon. This will launch the Quick Plan program. This presents us with our quick plan screen. So we start a new floor plan. Give it a file name. And let me put the basic outlines of the floor plan in. So let's say I have a basic domestic house plan. Let's say it's 10 meters by 10 meters. If we've got some information or we envisage putting some information around the layout, in the outside of the building, we can apply extra margins so that when the, the rectangle comes in to represent the building, we have margin around to place other information. We can specify our wall thickness and we've got these various shape choices as a starting point. Selecting OK presents us with our plan. What we can now do is start introducing extra walls. So let's say I wanted to put a garage on the side of here. I could insert a partition, I can set up the partition, and I can set up the double line thickness. I can then start drawing the lines. You can see I've done it fairly crudely. I can then apply a fillet. If I want to delete a small section of line, I can highlight it with one click, select delete on the keyboard. I can drag a line and move it around. Or if I wanted to, I could eliminate that line, grab this one, grab the little grip, stretch, fill it, and delete. Zooming in. If I then decide I want to position a door from a set point, I can include what I call an insertion point. So if you go and insert the offset point and select the offset point, when we start moving our mouse cursor around, we will see as we move the mouse cursor on the offset point, the X and the Y tend to zero. So my door, I will be looking at the minus Y coordinate you can see there as I move down the wall. So if I then choose to put a door in here with my door width, I can then place the center of the door. If I want to apply snaps and be accurate, I can click on my S in the corner. This will then snap. So if it's, let's say, three meters, move until I have the three meter option on the cursor, click once, place my door. Or I could do a right button click and place the door that way. So you can see I need to do the right button click before I can place the door. Guess who hasn't used it for a long time? And then press escape. I might want to clean up this wall. Get rid of the double lines. Insert partition. It's one line. I want to introduce internal partitions of a different thickness. I can select, say, a width of 0.2. Again, I can set the distance from the offset point so that when I insert a partition, the center of the partition will be the offset. Now, looking, paying attention to the x1 coordinate. So let's say the x1 coordinate is 2 meters. Click, drag, let go. Click, drag. So, pressing escape, click once, delete, and then using the fillet command, inserting a door again, right button click to flip the door around, so you can flip the door around, a 
If you want to put windows into the floor plan, you insert window, you put the width of the window in, and position it in accordance with your point. Then I could extend these lines, extend these lines, or another partition. Use the fillet. Select the line, move it back. I could actually represent a garage door by a large door, so what I could do is put that in as effectively a window and say it's 3.5 metres wide. Okay, that. Place that in the space. We can add text to name our spaces. Inserting text, selecting the default text size and height. Click OK. Place the text. Insert text again and repeat. In order to use the file in the MEP work software, we have to create the DXF file. You actually name that already as a DXF. So we are actually not creating a drawing file. We are drawing up a DXF file. Having saved it, we would then file save. This then allows us to use that floor plan in the MEP Works software.